Hello and welcome back to a new video on my channel. In this video I would like to talk about binoculars for astronomy. So when getting into astronomy you have two different options to get started. So on the one hand you can start by buying a beginner telescope for example and on the other side you can start by buying binoculars like these ones. In this video I would like to focus on these binoculars. These are the 20 by 80 binoculars made by Bresser. In this video I would like to talk about advantages and disadvantages of starting with binoculars into astronomy but the focus is on these uh, focus is on these binoculars. I would like to introduce them and would like to give you a review of them and I would like to give you advantages and disadvantages of, of these ones and in the end I would like to give you my final opinion about these and I would like to give you a few objects you can, you, you can observe of these binoculars under dark skies. All that, everything right after the intro. This video is not sponsored, I'm not being paid for it. My product shown in this video were purchased by myself, but now I'd like to start uh, with the video. The big advantage of starting with binoculars like these ones is that they are very easy to use. So you just need to attach them on a tripod and you can just go outside and observe the night sky. When starting with beginner telescope, for example, it's a bit more complex and they are very easy to use. And that is definitely an advantage of using them when getting into astronomy. On the other side, it's very easy to set them up. So um, my big telescope, for example, um, I only set it up when I have more hours uh, of clear skies during the night. But with this one, you can just observe for half an hour or something like that, because it's very easy to set them up and it's very fast. With my other telescope, I need to set it up quite long, which is definitely a disadvantage. And another big, big, big advantage of using binoculars for astronomy, especially in the beginning, is that they are not that heavy and not that expensive. Another big advantage is definitely um, that you can use these binoculars for uh, observing the night sky and for observing animals or the nature. So you have a lot of different options where you can use these binoculars while a telescope is usually designed for only observing the night sky. But now I'd like to introduce these binoculars to you. So as, as I already mentioned, these are the 20 by 80 um, binoculars uh, made by Bressel. So 20 means that this binoc these binoculars have magnification, 20 times magnification, which, which is actually fantastic. That's why I really, really like that um, in this case. So 20 times magnification is quite a lot actually. So those deep scale objects, they are quite big, but um, you need a lot of magnification to see them quite good. You can use smaller uh, binoculars as well, but 20 times magnification is definitely way better. In fact, 20 times magnification is enough to see um, the moons of Jupiter, for example, which shows that 20 times magnification when, when using a binoculars is actually pretty much. So a few months ago I observed uh, planet Jupiter with these ones and I was even able to see a few moons of it. So that's fantastic. The other number um, I have mentioned is 80. 80 stands for um, the diameter of the optical component. So the classes that are built in in these binoculars. You can see them when taking off these pieces here. So they have a diameter of 80 millimeters. When buying binoculars for astronomy, um, this diameter is very, very important. So for example, if we're observing objects in nature, they are very, very bright. But when using these binoculars for, for observing the night sky, these objects are very, very dark and therefore it's very important that a lot of light comes into these classes. So a bigger aperture means that more light comes in, which means that you can gather more light, which results in more light coming into that, which means that you can see those objects better. This means a uh, bigger a diameter of classes is better for astronomy because it's easier to see those objects. And this, these binoculars have a diameter of 80 millimeters, which is fantastic for observing objects in the night sky. Something I really, really like about these binoculars is the piece you can see um, here in the center of these binoculars, which is this central piece here. So these binoculars are actually quite heavy. So when holding them, them like that during the night, um, it's a bit too heavy and you will move it all the time because it's actually a bit too heavy. And therefore, this piece is actually fantastic because this piece, so this central piece here, allows you to connect your binoculars to a tripod. That makes everything so much easier. So um, down below here on the binoculars, you can see um, that kind of adapter here. And usually when buying a, a tripod like that, we'll have this piece here as well. And you can just directly attach um, these two together like that. And then you can directly attach them to that tripod. And then nothing is moving, which makes observing so much easier. Something I really, really like about that as well is that you can move the central piece here. This is for balancing. 
So with this central piece, you can just balance your uh, your binoculars on that tripod, which has definitely a positive impact on observing those objects. So we can just attach it easily on that and be ready to observe the night sky. So perhaps you're now wondering uh, which objects you can observe with these binoculars. And I would like to give you now a few deep sky objects you can observe with these binoculars and these objects I tried myself um, over the past few years. So a um, big, big uh, recommendation is definitely observing the Orion Nebula. So it's located in the Orion constellation. It's a very, very big and bright nebula actually, which means that it's quite easy to find. So you can see the nebula with your naked eye as well. So the picture you're currently seeing was taken with my big telescope, but I just would like to show you how the nebula looks, because that might be really, really helpful on deciding whether this object might be interesting for you. So this will, this is definitely an object I would definitely recommend observing. So I have observed on the Orion Nebula with these binoculars multiple times, and it's definitely impressive. So you can see on those very fine structures on the, of the nebula, but definitely make sure to observe these objects during a new moon. So during a full moon, it's the night sky is very, 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 very bright. And it's very hard to see details in that nebula. So definitely try to um, observe those objects during a new moon. And furthermore, try to escape the city light pollution because all of these aspects have a negative impact on your experience of observing the Orion Nebula, for example. But this nebula is quite fantastic through these binoculars. Another object that might be very, very interesting is the Andromeda Galaxy. So the Andromeda Galaxy is a very bright object and it's very big and it's very easy to find because you can see it with your naked eye once again. And uh, you can see those spiral arms of the galaxy through these binoculars, which is quite impressive. It's very, very easy to find, which makes observing so much easier. Another object that is very interesting uh, is the Pleiades star cluster. So this is a star cluster you can see with your naked eye in the night sky. So through looking, when, when looking through binoculars like these ones, the view is even more impressive. So under dark skies, you can even see on the nebula surrounding the star cluster, which is something that looks very beautiful through these binoculars. Um, there are also a few star clusters you can observe with these binoculars, such as, for example, N13. So these are a few objects that are very uh, fantastic when looking through these binoculars. So in summary, I can definitely recommend these binoculars because they are not that expensive and the aperture, so the diameter of the lenses, is perfect for observing the night sky. Um, but in general, I would definitely recommend using these binoculars on a tripod because without that, these tripods, it might be a bit difficult to uh, observe these objects. But with a tripod like this one, it definitely makes so, so much fun. I can definitely recommend it. And it's, it's a fantastic way to get started into astronomy uh, because you can see so, so, so much objects with these binoculars. And uh, it's definitely not that expensive. And it's a great way to get your first steps into astronomy. So in general, I really like that, um, these binoculars, and I can definitely recommend them. If you have any more questions about these binoculars or about using binoculars for astronomy in general, feel free to write these questions down below in the comments. Um, in a few days, I will upload a new video about binoculars once again. In this video, I would like to um, show you three binoculars of mine and explain why I believe that this one is the best of mine. Um, all that in a few days. If this video was helpful to you, I would really appreciate a like and a subscription. Otherwise, thank you so, so much for watching and until next time. Clear skies, Felix.